back. Oh, I don't know if you saw the graphic that was just up, but that was me in a lab coat. See, that's why we were, nom we were Emmy nominated for our graphics as well. Because each week, it's me in a different outfit. It's just, really, that's a great, see, look at that. What's up, with, wait a second, what's up with my hand? What'd you do with my, man, I'm like 80 pounds lighter. Look, look at me. What? Wow. Oh, I get it. That's the extreme makeover part of it. And, and now fix me back. Thank you. <laughs> Each week on ABC's Extreme Makeover, patients go under the knife as an extreme team of doctors, surgeons, and specialists make their dreams come true. And all this week, we're talking to the professionals that make it happen. Kicking off Extreme Makeover Week, please welcome the most recognized plastic surgeon in the country, Dr. Garth Fisher. Let's just jump right into this. I, I watch Extreme Makeover all the time. So, so, so is it weird to you to be a, a doctor, to be in the medical profession, but you're kind of like a rock star because everyone knows who you are now? Well, I don't consider myself a rock star. I just, uh, I'm just a doctor. And uh, so I guess uh, I don't think about it too much. Just try I'm just to do my job. I'm just a doctor who rocks and rolls. Just do my job. That's all I do. Now, before you became a doctor, you were a janitor? I was a jan I've, been a, I've been a dishwasher, paper boy. I was a janitor. I was... Uh, you know, I, I was at, dating one of the, the surgeon's daughters when I was a janitor, and I think he felt sorry for me. I was pushing my mop around, and he said, you know, come in here and watch me take out a gallbladder, and I did, and I said, you know, that's pretty cool. I decided to be a doctor. So, what you, you were goodwill hunting. That's awesome. Goodwill hunting. Very, very so, nice. So, so is it true that the Extreme Makeover show has now helped your practice? Not like you needed that much help, help anyway, but now, because of the popularity of the show, you have a two-year waiting list? It, there's, you know, a lot of people call, and we were fortunate. We had a year waiting list before this show, and mm -hmm. it's, it's, uh, it's doubled. And uh, I try to refer people out to really, you know, qualified physicians around the country that I trust. And, uh, uh, but it's been, it's been good times. So people can really wait two years? Because I'm thinking that if I come to you because I look like this, right. why would I wait two years? It's more of an extreme makeover. So what's the most difficult procedure that you've had to perform on the show yet? Well, uh, there, there's, been, there's been several of them, but I think the one that stands out the most to me was um, there's a girl from Alaska named Nellie, and her lips, mm -hmm. uh, gosh, those things were very challenging. I, I, I almost didn't do it, and uh, got, got pretty lucky. She came yeah. on the show, and I met her afterwards, and the work that you did, look at, it was just um, amazing. <coughs> Great work. Thank you. You've produced a video series called The Naked Truth About Plastic Surgery. Right. Now, what's that about? Well, it's an informational video series for people considering plastic surgery. It's not for everybody, but it shows you how to choose a doctor, tells you all about the risks, mm -hmm. video there footage. There it is right there. Um, they're, they're very comprehensive tapes, and I feel like it's a social responsibility to help people figure out whether they should do this or not. And it's very, very even. It won't talk you into it. Mm -hmm. so. Who is the perfect candidate for plastic surgery? What makes someone ideal? Well, somebody who's doing it for the right <clears throat> reasons, they're healthy, they have uh, realistic expectations, medical health is good, and, mm -hmm. you know, I think communication is key with the doctor. You have to be able to, you know, they have to know what they're going to get, what they're not going to get. Right. Um, there's a lot of things that go into it. You've got you've to really be prepared for, you know, you've got to assume that might, you know, something bad might happen to you. You know, you have, to, you have to also understand that, you know. Have you turned someone away? Yeah, we, we turn probably half the people that come in my office away for surgery for different reasons. Wow. Unrealistic expectations, maybe, you know, some people come in, they're, they're perfect, and they want something else, and I tell them, you know, maybe it should, you, know, you shouldn't take the risk. You know, wait. So, good for you, because you know. I always think, especially after watching shows like Nip Tuck, you know, there's right. always a doctor that says, no, nah, you need a lot of surgery. Right, that's yeah. unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. You know, and, and for me, I hate, you know, if somebody comes in, I don't want to give them another complex. I mean, you know, if they talk to me about one little area, and you can see there's an obvious problem somewhere else, I don't, I don't want to bring it up because it's going you, to make you them don't feel need, bad. You know? Wouldn't that be horrible? No, ma'am, you don't need liposurgery, but your head is enormous. I know. I mean, if that's bothering them, you know, the other thing would kill them if they realize it. So, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't so, help staring at you. Ooh, well, you don't want to do that, huh? We have the little girls and the boys, you know, the youngsters in the waiting room that do that before they get in. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah, ah! No, you don't yeah, want to. They that always either. tell the truth. It's, it's so nice meeting you, nice and your to practice meet you. is thriving. And uh, keep on doing, doing the great okay. job that you're doing because you're making these people really, really happy. And that's the fun part. It's great. Very so, nice. Folks, Extreme okay. Makeover, Wednesday nights at night on.
ABC. And for more information on The Naked Truth, log on to www.nakedtruth.com. Dr. Gar Fisher will be right back. Thank you so much.